Good morning, our brothers and sisters. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we bless you this morning. We worship you, Lord. We give you thanks and we give you adorations. We thank you for everything. I make it possible for us to be in your presence today, Lord. Father, we thank you today, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. O oh Lord God, have your way, Lord. Jesus, we bind all the plans of the enemy in our life today, anywhere they are. Father, let them scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever they gather, let them be destroyed today in the name of Jesus. I pray for every soul coming to this line right now. Jesus, Father, have your way in their life. Protect their going out and coming in today, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever the enemy have planned against them, today, O oh Lord, I cancel it with your mighty power in the mighty name of Jesus. Make a way, O oh Lord, where there seems to be no way in the mighty name of Jesus. Cancel that bad dream right now that is giving that person concern in the mighty name of Jesus. Make a way, Jesus, for that baby. Make a way for the mother. Make a way, O oh Lord, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Let us uh, sing uh, 1086. In 1086, light of the world, you step down into darkness. Amen. One to go. Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Beauty that made this heart adore you. Hope of all life spent with you. So here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you are my God. You are together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. King of all days, so highly exalted, glorious in heaven above. Only you came to the earth you created. All for our sake became poor. So here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you are my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. So here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you are my God. You are all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. Amen. I know how much it costs to see my sins upon thy cross. I never know how much it costs to see my sin upon thy cross. 
So here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you are my God. You are all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. Thank you, Jesus. Let us sing uh, 10, 20, sorry, 12, 27, the splendor of the king, Lord in majesty, 1, 2, 2, 7. One to go. The splendor of the king, Lord in majesty, let all the air rejoice, all the air rejoice. He rides in the light, and darkness tries to hide, and trample as his words. The trouble at his words. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. Oh, we see how great, how great is our God. And the earth will end and the beginning and the end, beginning and the end. The God tree is one. Father, the lion and the lamb, the lion and the lamb. How great is our God. Say with me how great is our God. Oh, we see how great, how great. Is our God name above all names, worthy of our praise? And my heart we sing, how great is our God Let us also sing 12.59. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. 12.59. One to go. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. O oh my soul. Worship his holy name. 
Till I never be for Oh my soul I worship your holy name It's as God's It's a new day dawning It's time to sing your song again Whatever lives and whatever lies before me, let me be singing when the evening comes. And say, oh, my soul, oh, my soul, worship his soul in me. Seen I never before. Oh, my soul, and worship your holy name. My little love, I was slow to anger. Your name is great, and your heart is kind. For all your goodness, I will keep on singing. Ten thousand reasons for my heart to find. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His soul. Sin I never before, for my soul, I worship your holy name. And on that day when my strength is failing, he has run me and my time has come. See my soul, we see your face and ending. A thousand years and forevermore. Blessed all of my soul, oh my soul. Worship his soul in Seen I never before, oh my soul, I worship your holy name. I worship your holy name. Yes, I worship your holy name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the strength you give to us to continually worship in your holy name. We bless your holy name, Father. We worship you, Jesus. We thank you, Father, for everything that you have done. You protect us. You fed us. You give us shelter. You clothed us. Father, you are too powerful. You are too good, Lord. Jesus, accept our thanksgiving offering this morning. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Uh, we're going to use um, Genesis chapter 25, and we are going to start with, I mean, from chapter, sorry, from verse uh, 27, 27 to 34, Genesis 25. The topic is, Esau sold his birthright. Hallelujah. In whatever way you might have sold your birthright to your junior one or to your supervisor or to your manager and say, oh, I can take care. I just need job. Just give me whatever price you want to give to me. I pray this morning. The ability to claim me back I pray for God to give you that power in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 
Genesis 25 from 27, please. Genesis 25 from verse 27. So the boys grew, and his soul was a skillful hunter, a man of the fields. But Jacob was a mild man, ready in things. And Isaac loved his soul because he acts of his game. But Rebecca loved Jacob. Now, Jacob cooked a stew, and a soul came in from the fields, and he was weary. And a soul said to Jacob, Please feed me with the same red stew, for I am weary. Therefore, his name was called Edom. But Jacob said, Sell me your birthright as of this day. Mm. And he so said, Look, I am about to die. So, what is this birthright to me? Mm -hmm. Then Jacob said, Swear to me as of this day. So he sold to him and sold his birthright to Jacob. And Jacob gave a so bread and the sweet of it, that is. Then he ate and drank, arose and went his way. Thus his soul despised his birthright. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He saw sold his birthright. There are many things that have happened to so many people today. I say, oh, majority of people have sold their birthright by one way or the other. If you look at it, if you trace the history of yourself and check whatever you have done, by one, one way or the other, you might have allowed the enemy to take what belongs to you. So this is what happened to Esau. Verse 27, it said, and the boys grew, and Esau was a corny hunter, a man of the feet, and Jacob was a plain man, dwelling in tent, he was staying in the house as a lazy person. Or oh, that make him to know how to cook. That also make him to have a skill of doing something for himself. Not that Esau couldn't do something for himself, but because of his hard working, Esau was also a hard working person. You can see the difference between a brother or a sister or somebody that is working, going out early in the morning and came back late. That person will not know what is happening in the environment. But the person staying at all, he can gossip with neighbors. He can do all sorts of things. But this man, Esau, verse 28, he said, and Esau, sorry, and Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his vanishing. But Rebekah loved Jacob because he was uh, the himself and Jacob and the mother Rebecca, they always stay at home. They are familiar to each other. They know how to, to, to talk to each other. They know the, the food to eat. They know what this person is, how this person is behaving. They know each other. But Esau did not care. But because of his also hard working, Isaac loved him. And because he always gave him, because he always eat of the meat that he bring in. You know, like even back home, many people, they like what is called bush meat, antelope, bush pig, all those animals that you cannot see outside. It's not common. 
unless you have your good money to buy it. So Isaac loved it. Because of that, he also loved Esau. He said, and Esau said to, this is where the trouble, oh, sorry, let's read verse 29. He said, and Jacob sold pottage, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. He was hungry. Nobody knows how many days he has spent there. He has spent in the bush looking for animal. The funniest thing is that they need to cook this very something, this very food that Jacob cooked is Esau that also brought it. But as he came in, he was hungry. What will he do? You have to ask the, they were born the same day because they were twins. So he, he's, he's still the, the junior anyway. That is Jacob. So he said, and Esau said to Jacob, feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage. For I am faint, therefore was his name called Adam. His name, another name for him was Adam. Praise God. So he pleaded to the brother, I need some food, I have to eat because I am very weak. I need some food to eat. Now you see how, how tricky this common that are existing today is started from the beginning of this world. Praise God. So Jacob now lured him to enter covenant with him. We can see that some covenant that we enter, majority of them are not good ones. The covenant that is good for us between a husband and wife and also uh, the covenant with God. If you enter our own covenant with, do you know that when we sign a contract to work, we also enter a covenant with that very person. I will do it well for you. I promise to do it right because when we were doing that very interview, we, are we were looking for work. We're looking for how to, where to receive money. Praise God. So he said, Jacob said, and Jacob said, send me this day thy birthright. The mother might have told, they might have gossiped together, they might have conspired together and say, this is how it is in our society. This is how it is in our family. This is how the traditional have been. He is the senior. He's the one to take over everything. There must be, there must have been some kind of uh, whispering, some discussion like that, that took place that make Jacob to now ask, I need this thing from you. Send me your bed rack. I will give you my food. There are some ways that we are thinking that it is very little, but it is not little. There are some causes, some evil utterances that people are pronouncing against even their children. They will think it's just a common a word. It's not common. Because a word have strength. Our tongue have power. You don't know the spirit that is around that very day. We just say, oh, give it to me. I will do it. By the time you couldn't do it, you have break your vow. Hallelujah. Many men and women are suffering today because of the past. I say, I will marry you. It's possible that you will just, you, because you don't know where God is leading you to, you now say, I will marry you at the end of it. Something has been agreed, but once it, now you now break it. 
at the time, especially like some people, they would take blood, take an oath together. If I did not do it, this and this will happen to them. Praise God. It's all happening around us. We should also avoid our children in that kind of uh, uh, in that kind of oath, that co kind of covenant that sh they shouldn't go up to that length. Praise God. Because blood covenant is very strong and the words of our mouth is also very strong. So he said, give me your bed right. Verse 32, Esau said, Esau said, and Esau said, behold, I am at the point of I am at the point to die. And what profit shall this birthright do to me? He's thinking that he's going to die. God will not allow him to die just like that, no matter how it is. And in all this, where is the mother, Rebecca? Praise God. Where is Rebecca? Why did Rebecca not prepare something for him? As all these things was going on, the mother supposed to come in and say, oh, my son, I am sorry, I didn't uh, prepare anything for you, but let me take from your brothers or I'll give to you. That is how unity can prevail in a family or in a society, in our community. Even in the country today, people need to do some certain things to favor the, the, the vulnerable people because they are not the one that put their, themselves in that very position. Hallelujah. But they want to tighten up everything to make sure that the poor or the vulnerable people, if I can use that language, they are, being, they are more pressed than even the, the top. Amen. So he said, what is it? What am I going to get from it? He believes in his own strength. He, he does, he look, he takes things very common. He sort of takes things very common. There are some people like that today, they are not serious with their life. They don't even, they don't value, what, I mean, what is around them. Some, they doesn't even value their life. That is why you see some people, they will say, oh, let them just commit suicide when a little thing happens to them. What is that very thing that you are crying for? What is it that you want? What have you sold out to, to somebody? Or what has your parents or even your country, the village that you came from, what have they sold out to other community? Now you are finding it difficult to get it back. Hallelujah. Like some people, some men or, uh, or some women, when their children were young, they will say, oh, I will marry I mean, my son or my daughter will marry this, or I will give this one to you. They sow that child out. But when the child now grew up, it's not a different story. We are seeing some of those things and we are hearing about it. So verse 33, See, and Jacob said, swear to me this day, and he sworn unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Make it to enter a very strong covenant. Make an oath. Swear to me that, oh, you are not going to take this thing back. Hallelujah. When you are looking for, when you are looking for progress in life, especially those days when you are looking for money for school fees or your parents are looking for money for school fees. All this scamming method has been happening for a long time. Some people will say, give me your land. When the man, immediately the man gave the land to the person or I say, I will give you the land. Maybe the, 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 the contract has not been signed. No paper has been signed. The man just get the money and say, oh, this is the money you gave to me. You will now see that trouble will start. I say, but you promised, you did promise to return the money. You promised to give me the land. If 
for that little money that I gave to you. Hallelujah. So after which trouble will now start, they will now start fighting themselves, doing some kind of concussion against each other. Amen. They are conditioned that lure people to some certain decisions. Do you know that some condition also lure people to even marriage? Hallelujah. At the 11.59 minutes, some people even marry people that they are somebody that they are not supposed to marry. But what will you do? It's only God that can break such covenant from us. Amen. Verse 34, it said, Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils. Those red, uh, small, small cedar something. It's very sweet anyway, and it's very, the, the vitamin is very strong too. So that is what he was crying for. And he did eat and drink and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his brother, sorry, his birthright. So he ate again and went out because he, he, because he was a man of defeat. You know, he doesn't stay home, doesn't have time to cook. Hallelujah. So, my brother, my sisters, we should be very careful of what we say with our mouth. We should be careful and we should be ready to pray. How, in what way has our parents sold our birthright? What belongs to them? What you're supposed to inherit? They sold it out. Most especially when people are poor, is when they die, you will see some of the debt that is around. I cause poverty in our life this morning in Jesus' name. So we are going to pray some prayer and you have to pray because you don't know why you are still in that position. I don't know why I am still in that position. Have I pronounced evil thing against myself or have you pronounced evil thing against yourself? I say, oh, if I even had this, that is okay for me. No, when God has said, he, gave, he has given you everything. Some people made that covenant even with devil. Some people also made that covenant with devil. Devil will lock them up. Jesus Christ is saying, I have paid the price for you. Come now to me, I will give you rest. I will take off every other thing. Don't worry for what you are going to eat tomorrow. That, that does not mean that when you wake up in the morning, you should be, I mean, you should just stay at home when they even give you work. You, you are going, instead of you to go five times a week, you are going two times. Then later you say you are sick. That is not what Jesus Christ is saying. Praise God. You can even be doing that work and you are enjoying it. Some people are jealous of you because of that. They want to make sure that they, they take that job from you. But that is when you will now see the strength of God coming in, protecting you. Not, not allowing any bad thing to happen to you because you are doing it according to the way he wants you to do it. My brother, my sisters, let us now continue to thank God this morning. I say, Lord, I just thank you for your word. I thank you for waking me up. I thank you, Jesus, because you haven't, you didn't seize this bread from me. Let us now continue to pray. Lord Jesus, Father, Lord God, I bless you this morning, oh Lord, for all that you have done and what you're ready to do. I thank you, Jesus, Father, for your word that you have given us this morning. Oh Lord God, we also thank you, oh Lord, for the life, for the abundant life, abundant grace that you gave to us, oh Lord, because you remember to wake us up, oh Lord, 
Father, I thank you. Lord Jesus, I bless your holy name this morning. I also thank you over our life, over every multitude of souls, families that are listening to us right now. Jesus, we just bless you. We thank you for everything that you have done for them. We thank you for those babies in the womb, oh Lord. We thank you, Jesus, for the grace that you have given them. We also thank you, Lord, for the mothers. We thank you for the fathers. We thank you for the country we are, oh Lord. No matter the tribulations, because your word said in everything we should give thanks and glory unto you. Lord Jesus, we bless you. Father, we worship you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to cry unto God this morning. I say, Lord, in any way I have sold my bed right to anybody, anybody, doesn't mean only your junior one. You can even sell what belongs to you, to your senior. Continue to claim me right now. Say, Lord, I break that yoke right now. Anywhere I have sold my birthright to anybody. Father, I break it in the name of Jesus. I claim it back in the mighty name of Jesus. Any form, any way, oh Lord, I have sold my birthright. My Lord, my God, I claim it back today, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. I claim my birthright back now, right now. Anything that belongs to me in this planet earth, oh Lord, I claim it this morning. From my father's house, from my mother's house, my brother, my sister, continue to claim it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, I claim everything that belongs to us, oh Lord. In Global Light Apostolic Ministry, in my marriage, oh Lord, Father, I claim everything that belongs to me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I claim everything. Our children, anywhere they have sold their birthright, Father, I claim it, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, we claim everything this morning. I pray for those life right now, the power to claim everything that belongs to them. I, Father, let it be upon them, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. O Lord God, I claim everything today, O Lord. Those things that belong to us, Father, we claim them this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, we claim them today, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are also going to pray and say, Lord, any covenant that I have entered, knowingly or unknowingly, even in the dream, you can enter covenant. Even you may enter covenant without you knowing. In the school or in the primary school, in any way, many people have entered covenant. Some enter covenant of which is a wizard. By the time they know it, they continually fly like flying eagles. That will not be our portion in Jesus' name. Let us use the blood of Jesus to break every evil, evil covenant in our life this morning. Uh, Jacob, Leo, uh, Esau, to enter that covenant, continue to break it right now. Say, Lord, whatever covenant that I have entered, with any of my siblings that is not of God, any covenant that I've entered with any human being, anybody born by a woman, whatever covenant you have entered, I command that covenant to be broken. I break that covenant right now with the blood of Jesus. My Lord, my God, any covenant that I've entered, O oh Lord, knowingly or unknowingly, I use the blood of Jesus to break that covenant right now in the mighty name of Jesus. The words of our mouth, is very powerful, my brother, my sister. Jesus, I, by your power and authority, I use your blood this morning to break any evil covenant in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray for that covenant that might have tied you down. Let it be broken. Covenant is like a chain that binds two people together. Covenant is like a, 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 is, is like a, a house. You cannot go out from that covenant. Continue to break it right now. I say, Lord, I break every yoke of covenant in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Covenant with any man or with any woman. Pray that and, and break that covenant right now. Especially a man you did not marry or the woman that you did not marry. You have said something, but that something concerned, continually telling you, break it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, I break every covenant in my father's house, any covenant that I have made with anybody in this planet earth, let that covenant be broken today in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever covenant I have entered, oh Lord, I have tied me down or make me to be stagnant, 
or causing delay, causing disappointment. Break that covenant out from your life, even in your place of hope. Any covenant that you have entered, let it be broken right now. I use the blood of Jesus to break such covenant in the mighty name of Jesus. The verse 33, he said, Jacob made him to swear and say, I mean, if you, if you say this word, meaning you mean what you are saying. People enter covenant because for them to have that, I mean, for the next person or for the group, you can make covenant with any group. You can make covenant with, I mean, one person. It can be of a group or it can be of a person. Then that covenant is like a chain that binds those people together. Continue to break that chain of covenant. Evil covenant are from your life this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, every evil covenant, I command it to be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus, every covenant, O oh Lord, that have entered knowingly or unknowingly. This morning, Father Lord Jesus, I command that covenant to be broken right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, let it be broken today, O oh Lord. By your power, by the power in the blood of Jesus, I command that covenant that that man or that woman have entered. Let it be broken right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let us also break any covenant concerning any evil altar. That covenant, your parents might have gone there. There, there are some people, their parents went to the river. Not even a big sea, just a river, a stream. They went to it because they, had, they know that there are some powers coming out from there. Or people might have told them, go to that place, you will have a baby. Either a boy or a girl. It's not only, it's not only a, 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 a woman that has marine spirit. Man also have that marine spirit. Let us now continue to break it and say, Lord, any covenant my parents have entered because of me. It's because of you, because they want a child, or because they want that, that, that child or the children to be better in life. They sold them out. I say, Lord. I mean, they talk to that, that they are God, that they are deity. I say, I surrender this, uh, this boy or this girl to you. Continue to guide and protect them. Continue to break that covenant right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And now you grow up, you are seeing those things. You are seeing river, swimming in the river. Or you are seeing something that, you, I mean, it's not existing. You cannot say it out. Maybe your parents might have told you that such a thing is what they do, is what they believe in. When you say it's out, something else may happen. When you deny it, you take to try to come out from it. My brother, my sisters, God, Jesus Christ, have delivered us. He have delivered us from that, from that uh, uh, evil causes, from that evil covenant. That is why we need to pronounce it and cancel it with the blood of Jesus. Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, I cancel every evil covenant, O oh Lord, from any altar, even both the one I have entered myself or the one my parents have entered. Every covenant that is in the tradition of man that have tied me down, Father, I break that covenant today, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Covenant in my place of bed, let it be broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil covenant, I command it to be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. Do you know that some people, some family, they also make covenant with poverty. I say, oh, they will claim long life. And I may forget about poverty. They will say that, that demon will, will tell them, either you take long life or you take uh, poverty. They will say, okay, they take a uh, long life, but let them be poor. That will not be our portion today in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us also break covenant with poverty in our life, in the mighty name of Jesus. By the time you want to get rich, at the point of, at, at the, the last minute, that is, something, that is when something will happen that will draw you back. Continue to break it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God, I break every covenant with poverty this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. From my father's house, from my mother's house, covenant with poverty that have tied me down. Continue to break it. I break it in the mighty name of Jesus. I break that covenant in the mighty name of Jesus. Every covenant, every generational covenant that have tied me down, Lord, that is causing stagnation, 
causing delay, causing disappointment, causing failure. Father Lord Jesus, I let the covenant be broken. Even up to the covenant will not affect our children in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every evil covenant, generational covenant that our parents have entered. Father, I break it for it not to enter our children's life, enter my life in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let us also pray and say, Lord, any evil river, evil river can be sickness, it can be poverty, it can be discouragement, it can be failure. Let us now continue to command that evil river to dry up. Evil river can be a problem in the mighty name of Jesus. Problem that happened to the father. It happened to the father, father. It also happened to the son now. And you want to go to the son, son, to the grandson, my brother, my sister, continue to break those things right now. This prayer may be lost to, it may be, it, somebody may be feeling, I mean, it may be happy to somebody. When God is leading us through this kind of thing, it's, it can be for me, it can also be for you. Not all stories about your life, you know, my brother, my sisters. That is why you have to break it. I break every evil covenant right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Covenant that my mother have made that may be affecting me. Covenant that my father have made that may be affecting me. Your great great grandfather may, may make, I mean, might have made a covenant and it will be affecting you today. You did not know about it. And you did not uh, possibly. Possibly you didn't even know that very man or that very grandmother. In the mighty name of Jesus, I break such covenant in the mighty name of Jesus. Let all this covenant be broken, O oh Lord. Covenant can even happen to late, for late marriage. Covenant can even happen in polygamous, I mean, that causes polygamy. Look at Abraham. When did he start? You saw how everything was. The entire, the entire covenant with uh, with, with, with Sarah. He entered a covenant with Sarah and said, oh, Sarah said, oh, why can't you just marry or go and sleep with my, with my maid? That is where all these things started from. He agreed. Something you agree oh, to is a covenant. It's a vow. Lord Jesus, I break such covenant in my life today in the mighty name of Jesus. Every covenant with polygamy, it will not happen to our children in the mighty name of Jesus. I break all those covenants right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil covenant, knowingly or unknowingly, secretly or openly. Father, I command it to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. My brother, my sister, continue to cancel that evil word that you have not spoken against yourself before because things were not moving. You didn't like the condition that you are. You didn't like the environment that you are. You just say some certain things. You don't know that the enemy have used God, I mean, use that very word to tie you down today. Lord Jesus, every evil utterances, I command it to be broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Any evil word I have spoken against myself, Lord Jesus, let that word be canceled right now. I cancel it with the blood of Jesus. You might have spoken that word when you didn't know God, but now you know Christ. Use the blood of Jesus to cancel it. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord God, I cancel such, such word, oh Lord, completely and totally and permanently with the blood of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cancel every evil word against me, against my marriage, against my career, against the vision, against the project that I'm doing. Any evil word that any man or woman has spoken against it, Father, let it be broken now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let the blood, I use the blood of Jesus to break, to cancel those words in the mighty name of Jesus. It will not be a barrier against me today. That's why God said, he said, any food, sorry, any tree that he did not plant in your life shall be uprooted. Let those words be uprooted and be removed out from your life right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever word, oh Lord, no matter who has spoken that word, Malike Podiha, any man or woman that has spoken any evil word against your career, against your children, against the work of your hand, I command it to be canceled right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, whatever word they might have spoken against global light apostolic ministry, Jesus, let that word be, be broken. Let it be canceled 
I cancel it with the blood of Jesus. Because the word of the Lord said, they have built the church and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. Any gate of hell that I want to prevail against your career, I cancel it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we cancel every evil word in the mighty name of Jesus. We cancel any evil word, every evil utterances, any evil hand that have, that have any man or woman that have evil power, that have placed his hand in your finances. Let that hand wither right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You are walking, you are not seeing the money. Look at Jacob, sorry, look at Esau. Esau, Esau was a man of defeat. He was not a lazy person, but look at how he find himself. Father Lord Jesus, I cancel and I command that hand to be with her right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us now continue to soak ourselves in your blood and commit this day into the hands of God. Today being the 14th day, it's a complete day in our life. Lord Jesus, we soak this day in your mighty blood, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Everywhere we go, Father Lord Jesus, let your blood continue to fight for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever we are going to do, O oh Lord, Father, be the chairman today in the mighty name of Jesus. Our children going out, going to school, going to work, Father, protect and guide each and every one of them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, have your way. Lord Jesus, take control, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, Father. We worship you this morning. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name.